Sheffield and I'm a jewelry designer. I was raised in New Mexico. I, I lived there for most of my life and I started out on an Indian reservation in the northwest corner. And I think that that's, there are lots of elements just from that experience that are prevalent in my line, but I definitely use them as reference, not just in the design, but in how I display it. I think what we used in this room very much indicates that with the sand and the, and the feathers and all of the little, different little displays and sort of like architectural layouts of the jewelry. I didn't really start with jewelry. I, I studied costume design and then I studied sculpture and I sort of got into jewelry by accident. My first real training was in blacksmithing and welding and I did sort of teeny tiny elements of sculpture with jewelry techniques. I'd been doing fine jewelry for about four years and I started with a little bit of runway here and there for different designers that I've worked with um, and then my own brand. And, um, and then I just started having friends and people that I know or even just people that had seen the brand that wanted to do custom jewelry coming to me and then that was the, that's where I got the idea to launch a bridal line is basically from people that came to me for custom work going back to and forth with them and designing specific things that are sort of based on my aesthetic because there really isn't a lot of like alternative bridal engagement, wedding bands, that kind of jewelry. I really wanted to, to invent something new and I think that that's what I've always tried to do with jewelry. I think coming from a sculptural background I've always wanted to kind of take what a, whatever the sort of confines of it really are like in, in terms of materials or how they're used and just really like flip them upside down. So with the bridal, I really just wanted to look at what is normally done and then do everything the exact opposite. I love the standard. It's one of my favorite places to stay. Everybody that works at the standard is amazing and inspiring. I love the location of the one in New York City and um, I work with them. We sell my line Bing Bang in the gift shop. Sometime in the next five to ten years I'd love to have a store for, the, for my brand and I guess just to keep doing fun projects. I do a lot of collaborating and that's my favorite part of just being a creative person in, in the community that we have. You get to do so many different projects and that's definitely something I'll continue to do. Oh, I